Pisces, let's go ahead and see what's going on for December 12th through the 15th. I have a whole bunch of new decks here that we're going to be using today. And I'm going to briefly tell you what they are for the people who may want to know. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have questions, so I'm just going to get it out of the way now. I'm using the Prism Oracle by Aesthetics Magic on Instagram. I'm also using the Life is a Board Game Tarot by Kaleidodope. Basically, all these decks are by Kaleidodope except for the Prism Oracle. I'm using the Price of Love Oracle again by Kaleidodope and also these swatches of chakra deck and yeah this is not sponsored I just wanted to let you guys know but let's get started any information that you need to book a reading um, subscribe all that jazz below and let's get started Pisces what's the energy surrounding my Pisces for December 12th through the 15th what's the energy Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So we have connection here. Okay, yeah. We also have fear. And we have psychic abilities. Okay, so tapping into this while I'm shuffling. So this looks like the way that you connect with somebody on an emotional level or with personal connections where you hold those people near and dear to you. You're having to kind of reevaluate certain soul ties you may have. Okay, this could be like soulmate energy some of you are dealing with, if not soulmate energy, like twin flame energy where it's a lot of questioning surrounding the the connection how it's going to evolve okay family if certain family relationships could be mended even for my singles it's like you're questioning how you connect with people and the, the type of people that you may connect to on an emotional level or that may come into your life you may notice like a current theme or a consistent theme where people manifest in your life and they have like a sense of neediness in terms of like being an emotional leech or an emotional or no not emotional but energy vampire excuse me I'm seeing like a whole bunch of energy with that but um, during this time frame, this is you also having to conquer personal fears or things that you've been putting off to the side based off of the anxiety that it may give you, okay? This is also, I'm hearing spirits say, unless you confront your fears up front, they will always control you. That's what I'm hearing. So it's like knowing that you have to deal with something before it deals with you, essentially. Okay, this could be fear associated with dating or fear associated with um, overcoming certain substance abuse issues. It's different scenarios for each and every one of you, of course. But um, it's something that you guys are scared in terms of like what's on the other side of making certain decisions. But... Another thing I'm seeing, you're very in tune with the universe, with what they want you to do during this time frame. What needs to happen here is you need to make sure that you're listening, though. Spirit can give you downloads, can give you like this internal need to do certain things, give you that push. But unless you take that first step then you're going to stay in the same situation, essentially. But let's get deeper into this. Um, also, some of you quite literally have psychic abilities, like your clairaudient, clairvoyant, um, clairsentient, or I don't know if I butchered that word. But you guys get what I'm saying. You may have some sort of like psychic ability that you may need to hone in on. Okay, and definitely find balance there. But... Present energy, I have the Hermit card. 
So this is you needing to go into a space of introspection. This is also like ideas coming at you left and right. And these ideas that may be coming in may be very conflicting to the current path that you may be on now. But you could be realizing that, hey, maybe you're ready to take a new direction in doing things. Maybe you're ready to take things to higher heights. And this is what's happening. You're starting to kind of like make or want to make adjustments in your life in order to step into a place of creating opportunity for these ideas, essentially. Um, things could also be being brought to your awareness during this time frame with the light bulb. This is like light being shed on things. So there could be something that you notice. This could be self introspection that kind of happens. This is like going into a closet, right? And you just throw a whole bunch of stuff into the closet and then you don't ever take the time to go back into that closet until you have to move or get something important out of there and you turn the light on and you just notice that everything's cluttered. So this is essentially what's happening for some of you as well. But I also see in terms of the overall theme slash lesson, we have the two of pentacles in reverse. So the balancing act Avenue card in reverse. So this time frame is all about having prop or not. Let me not say proper. This is all about you having control. This could be in a financial sense. Like some of you could have lost control when it comes to money. This could be like spending, spending, spending like crazy. And then like bills are like starting to catch up essentially or feeling tight with money, not feeling like you have that extra leg room with finances because money may have been a little bit shifty here. This could also be in the sense of like with a relationship where there's like craziness going on with the state of the relationship. One second you guys are on good terms, one second you're on bad terms. It's like a lot of you are coming to a point to where the things that have been imbalanced, you're now having to confront. You're having to look at straight in, in the eyes and, and confront that this is just not working and it's throwing you completely off. So anything that's been like a constant struggle, no matter how much you try to pour into it, spirit is like bringing it to your awareness that something has to be done. Now with love, I do have the something shady way, the seven of swords. So there may be for some of you, more so avoidance that's happening. Either you or your love interest is avoiding each other, okay? This could also be things that aren't really being said. It's like tiptoeing around each other, just, you know, still dealing with each other, but things not being said, energy not being expressed in terms of how you guys are both feeling or how this person feels towards you. Take this reading out applies. But um, some, you could also sense that something's off within your relationship, okay? Some of you also could be talking to someone new and you could be noticing some things right off the bat that are a little bit shady and a little bit questionable. Um, yeah, like some of you could be internet dating and then that person left out some key details and you're just now starting to like notice these things or find out these things. Hmm. I see for my singles also it's like this avoidance energy more so to protect protect yourself and, and to put yourself in a space of like avoiding mishaps especially if that's what you've been getting back to back to back now with career and finances I have the moon card so it's a lot of questioning what's on the other side of making certain decisions like I was kind of sensing before a lot of you want to just move beyond what you're doing now you see a bigger view for yourself you, you're starting to have a bigger perspective in terms of what's possible right um, so what's happening is you're questioning like okay well if I do decide to quit this job even though I've been making a considerable amount of money from it what's going to be the outcome um, if I do to do ugh, I don't know what's going on if I do decide <laughs> to venture out and take things to the next level is that going to be successful so a lot of like i said wondering what's on the other side of certain opportunities 
Uh, there could be also a lot of uncertainty or like speculation around your job. So some of you are like entrepreneurs and things have been a little bit testy when it comes to um, like finances or like the consistency of like business or something. It's like always having to wonder like, okay, well, is next month going to be a profitable month? Some of you are like still waiting for jobs to come through and it's like waiting, waiting, waiting. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Some of you are on a brink of like major change within your career because mentally some of you are just over it or you're at the end of a chapter here. Now, what I see for the advice, I do have the devil card in reverse. So this is making sure that you're not being tempted by things that draw you back into a negative space for one or things that you've worked so hard to release yourself from in the first place. It's kind of like, it's kind of like removing shackles from yourself, right? And then like trying to go back to the, the scene where you got shackled down and then trying to like reason with the person that, that put you down or trying to find, I don't know, a level of understanding from, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> trying to find a level of understanding from like somebody who may have victimized you or put you through certain things. Cause that's something that's really happening for some of you where it's like, what really draws you back to certain individuals is trying to understand the why. Why did they do this? Why did they do that? Thinking that you're going to get closure and that there could be this like peacefulness. But spirit is saying, no, like remove yourself from these shackles, remove yourself from your temptations and look forward and don't look back. OK, I'm hearing like conditioning. Some of you like are conditioned to go back to an abusive relationship, whether it's verbally, mentally, emotionally or physically. Because of the the comfortability aspect, but. What I see for the next card this is going to represent the possible challenge. I do have the full card and that's just looking straight ahead. You guys could be having a really hard time. Focusing on what's ahead of you when you only have your past to kind of compare to the future or while you're trying to look forward, it's like you can't help but to question like, well, how does the story end with that relationship that I broke off recently? Or how does the story end with me making some career changes? Again, it's the wondering what's way ahead of you when spirit wants you to focus on the now. Now, speaking of what's ahead, let's go ahead and look at that. We have win or lose way and the five of swords. So again, what I was already speaking about in terms of the mental thing. So with the five of swords, this could be literal arguments where it's you and another person trying to get your point across or trying to get a level of understanding and feeling like you're not getting it. Um, this could be pettiness that's existing between you and another individual. All right, workplace, between a friend, a lover, a roommate. It's not limited to like one particular situation, but there may be some sort of verbal clashing that happens where somebody tries to like tell you about yourself or you have to tell somebody else about themselves. Um, this is you guys also not putting up with someone's mental manipulation anymore. It's like realizing, okay, as long as I keep allowing you to try to play games with me, I'm going to be going crazy. So it's a lot of like, I'm going to put my foot down and I'm tired of the confusion. That's what I'm getting mainly from this energy. Okay. So this is what I see. I hope I put things in perspective. I wish you the best of luck. Definitely make sure you subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.